Got the hole drilled. We're gonna heat her up, get ready to do some welding. Tapering off and getting the end. All right, so there's one pass, and you know what they say about carp, uh, cast iron. So let it cool slowly. And of course, I forgot my blanket. I'll be right back. I'm gonna set that on there for a little bit. And then we'll be back. Okay, folks, we're uh, getting set back up on this to uh, plug the bottom plate on. The uh, well set for about oh probably an hour, and it's it's still warm, but uh, it's definitely cool. So what I'm gonna do is kind of got my plate situated how I wanted. I did have to buff down just a little high spot in the original well, um, but just kind of setting this in place, and I'm gonna tack it right now before I do another preheat on this. So we'll get a couple tacks on it. Then we'll heat her up. And so I don't have to deal with this thing when it's three and a degree again. I want to try to get this plate flat. This is AR. This is the AR 450, I believe. Um, that I found from an old skid plate job. So, if you ever worked with AR, you may know how much it doesn't like to bend. Boy, I hope I can get it to bend a couple of these spots because they're really high so I'm going to I'm weld where we have a nice um, weld seam like right here nice and flush right here in the front is okay but right here on this edge is a big gap and I don't want to fight that so and this back section is real nice so I'm probably going to go to the other side to do that but um, we're going to have to try to beat this AR in place. I don't know how well that's going to go. But we'll use the heat to our advantage. So we're already at 550. That's a problem. So they say with uh, cast iron to only weld 10 times the thickness with a filler, 330 second rod here. You do the math. I don't know what the math is, but um, so I'm only going to do a little bit. Now I'm going to beat the crap out of this plate and see if I can get it laid down. You guys don't need to see that. It'll get ugly. Alright, so 
I beat the crap out of this thing. I did get a little flatter in some spots. Um, but it reminded me of an important process that I forgot to do. Stress relieving, AKA peening, uh, which I should have done with my original weld. We'll uh, try to do it here in a minute on this, but while this is still hot, I get a little bit more weld around this corner. I don't think anything's going to reach over there. So it is kind of what it is there. Man, I feel the gap. That's okay. Stand us up a bit. I want to stay right here. Maybe. Mm. You know what? I'm going to walk away. If I don't walk away, I'll keep well and then I'm going to screw it up. Let's, uh, Throw a cover on her. Come back for more in a minute. A little bit. I just finished up uh, loading everything. Went back and did a second kind of third pass on the very front where it's going to be hit with a lot of rocks and I'm probably going to after this is all said and done probably going to uh, round this out a little bit more so there's just no lip build up uh, with a grinder but right now we're getting ready to uh, we're gonna shot paint this we're gonna do some painting um, needling try to do some stress leaving and then we'll wrap it in the uh, and the blankets here and call it a night.